Hey everybody, welcome back. We are live on a Sunday. We're going to be doing some unboxings. Got the un channel unboxing knife up there. What do you guys got going on? Are you having fun yet? What's up, Keith? Welcome back. Remember Zach's Daily Carry Crew there and founder of the Dalga Club. Man, I was so excited when I got inducted into that club. Such a beautiful day it was. Fantastic day it was. Get my other monitor pulled up here so I can get some links going for you guys. What's up, Big Red? What's up, Snuggle Tummy? What's going on, David and Rodney? G-Man, Tim Cook? Russ, Women Carry Knives, Alcus, some awesome people in here today, Snuggle Tummy, Decour, what's going down, Crystal's here, what's up, Crystal, Manny D's here, loving it, get on the live chat feature there, Randy F is here, see the Mansky, what's up, Penny, David's here, having some awesome fun today. I don't know if you guys, a few of you have seen my Instagram post already. Got this custom barrage, Seahawks colors. Something you can build in the custom knife shop. I've had this one for a few years. What's up, Dane? Glock by my side's here. Silva's here. What's up, everybody? Amazing action on this one. Mav Dog's here. What's up, Mav Dog? Mike Johnson's here. What's going down, you guys? Therapeutic Edge. Peter's in the house. Good stuff going on right there. Oh, David's being squished. Uh-oh. What's up, Richard? How's it going? How's it going? Rodney. Hey, man, prayers out to your family, Rodney. Big time, definitely. Saying some prayers out there for you. I'm going to get this up here near the top so we can get some room for some unboxing, some goodness. There we go. We're just going to leave it crooked, though. Just kidding. Oh, Tom's here. What's up, Tom? Yeah, so good stuff going on. Let's see, what else am I carrying today? Ethan's here. What's up, Ethan? Got this old uh, custom bug out in the G10 S30V. Blacked out hardware. Another beautiful option from the custom knife builder. And, of course, to support my favorite football team today, playing Sunday Night Football. Uh, yeah, so Big Boar Knife and Gears here. What's up, everybody? What's going down, Big Boar? Got some exciting stuff going on over there. His channel very, very soon. So that's cool. But yeah, so I want to show you guys a little. We're going to do some unboxings today. I wanted to say, what's up, Scott? Welcome. Scott Simmons is here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Hey, what's up, Nick? Thanks for jumping in really quick. Quick Nick today. Now, I want to show you guys this. What's up, Mikey? This is a pivot alignment tool. And it's probably hard to see, but we'll try to do it. It's flat on the one side right here. So it's perfect for those axis style pivots. And here's the bigger side. You can kind of see the flat edge right there. Oh man, I'm jealous. Post office got my Blade HQ shipment all locked up. So yeah, so this one's really cool. It comes from Rust Bucket Goods on Etsy. The link's in the description of this video down below. You can pick that up. Um, this one's aluminum. He sent this one to, as, as a gift. He's like, hey man, you do so many great uh, you know, scale swaps and everything else. I just wanted to you know, send this one to you so you check it out. But we're going to test this out today. So 
that's the goal is to test that out as soon as we're done here unboxing so definitely i would say check this out it's pretty cool and you know it's got the little points on them right there so you can use it to like realign washers and other stuff inside those scales pretty neat so well thought through tool definitely worth it yeah the benchmade blue is awesome so yeah so that's a pretty that's a pretty neat little tool so uh oh you accidentally ordered two well maybe we'll have to talk after this see which one you got <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this one up here off to the side. We're gonna put this one off to the side We're gonna get started on some of this. Oh blade brigade. Thanks, man. Tony Montana has entered the chat <laughs> What's up? That's awesome, man. Thank you so much blade brigade Got an awesome Instagram going over there Yes, I have the anthem and they are worth the money and I think they're on the discontinued list so a lot of retailers are selling them at uh, discounted prices. So I would say grab one if you can. And I don't know if mine's super handy, but we'll try and see if it's in this bag right here. Oh, you did a thing today, huh? Ordered a Schwartz Perpetua. Sweet. That's a big thing I would say. What's up, Monster Racing? Oh, you're making them lunch? Yeah, so that's it right there. Yeah, this has no break-in, no stick. I mean, and honestly, I mean, it's it's just like you said, guillotine style. Oh, Big Red, thanks, man. Big Red, member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Had an awesome time last night at Saturday Night Live over on his channel. Thanks for the support, man. Definitely put that to use. Uh, we have planning my next giveaway right now. The giveaways are going... Um, we just shipped out the, the second to the last one this weekend. Uh, I say we, but I guess my right hand, my left hand, that's we, but, um, yeah. And then the other one's the custom bug out that's on order. So that one's a couple weeks and that'll be in. It'll be good. Yeah. I need to anodize one blue for sure. I'm thinking about picking one up. So nitro V was missing in your steel collection. Okay. Decor. Nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, and this is the MXG gear clip. For me, it was a must. It made it a, a perfect EDC knife, switching out that uh, milled clip. Milled clip is beautiful, but it's in my parts box now. Oh, you got the 2003 on the way. Okay, nice. Yeah, those will get released here at the end of the month. Uh, you'll see one here on the channel. I definitely have at least one on order. I'm trying to get two, but we'll see. Supplies are limited. There's been a couple of retailers uh, pre-ordering them, which I understand how they can pre-order them with the way Benchmade limited editions work, but maybe they got a deal going with some other people. Uh, yeah, the Anthem's pretty awesome. So uh, the clips that I have, like this MXG gear one, I just went to their website, MXG, and picked it up. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, the waypoints were really nice. I don't know if I would put the waypoint over the Anthem, though. And it's going to be about the same price. And I love the blue anno that uh, is on the Anthem. I think Blade Brigade New York has one on his. And it's, it's pretty pretty sweet. Uh, okay, let's see here. So let's get into some of the stuff that we got in the mail. And just so you guys know, links to all this stuff is down below in the description. Um, I linked everybody's stuff here. So if you're needing a little bit of extra, like, hey, where'd you get that? Uh, you want to pick something up or check it out, then that's where it's at. So we're going to do a little... Nah, I figured this wouldn't work too well. Hopefully don't cut my table. That's the number one goal, always and forever. Now these should be a couple stickers from our friends. Oh, look at that. Yeah, if you want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, there's a link right there. Thanks, Big Red. Uh, but these are the Franking Bird, the Birdshot IV, Birdshot 4 stickers. So they're all pretty cool. Ordered a pack of these because my last couple Blade HQ orders, uh, I got skunked. So I was like, man, I need to get some stickers since I couldn't get any drawings. So they have an Etsy page, and that Etsy page is linked below. And just so you know, 
if you're into kind of what they have going on, um, knife collection wise, there's a couple of their knives that they put up for sale on their Etsy page. And I think they have one of them on there right now. So anyways, so that's a pretty cool thing that they do. Uh, they also have their stickers on there. So it's good stuff. What's up, Jason Brown? Yeah, some birdshot stickers. David Lindsay, what's happening? Oh, they restocked their Guardian Tactical Recons. Okay. Nice. What's up, Libertarian? What's going down? Yeah, if you guys want to hit that like button, it's there. Um, if you guys want to support you know, my channel overall, there is the ability for the Super Chat uh, during the live streams here, and there is the uh, Zach's Day of the Carry Crew. Right now, I just have one... Um, one level um, and basically you get exclusive content there's an exclusive video coming up later today that I'll be posting on there and one of the secrets that I've been posting on there is my patches are being finished right now and if you're a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew when those patches arrive I will ship you out one with a swag pack um, just as a thank you so it's pretty cool um, let's see, what do we got in here? Oh yeah, some gearing up stickers. Have you guys ever checked him out? Look at that. Sweet little hollow pineapple. <laughs> yeah, gearing up podcast, uh, GT done. Pretty cool, it's going on. Um, I put a link to his gearing up podcast on YouTube. He puts them all on YouTube now as well, so it's pretty easy to follow along and subscribe up. So, um, got some stickers sent over from him, which was pretty nice. So, yeah, find a place to put those up. I kind of really dig this one, though. Pineapple's kind of his thing. He's got a little tattoo of it, too. So, yeah, pretty groovy stuff there. Love the stickers. Love the patches. You guys are awesome. Got, some, got those amazing coins. Last couple of weeks from all you guys. Got that awesome... Um, set of Seahawk Hanks, like, whoa, timbers, man, we're knocking everything over today, okay, reset, here we go, <laughs> oh, you want a magnet, nice, <clears throat> that's super cool, all right, thanks for staying with me through all of it, through all the timbers, it's just been a weird week, you know, oh, you were on with Metal Complex last night? Did he make you drink something or eat something? Hopefully not. Nice, nice. What's up, Acetone? What's going on? We've got another little package here. This one's from our good friend over at Rock Scale Designs. I ordered some stuff. Look at that, man. Do a little deeper cut, I guess. Some really thick bubble wrap in there. Oh, Blade Banner's here? What's up, Blade Banner? Get my info on there. If you need anything, hit me up. I'm just kidding. Oh, sweet. So this is what we're waiting for. We got a little sticker from him. Nice. But this is the blue anodized hardware for that bug out that uh, was sent out in the giveaway last week. So I've already been seeing uh, posts. Uh, he's digging that red bug out. So thank you guys so much for donating that to the raffle. That was fun. And then I got another geared backspacer, which is going to go with the mini bug out that I'm building. So that's awesome. So yeah, so I'll be sending these out here today. Uh, or oh, yeah, that's right. They're closed tomorrow, huh? So yeah, so rockscaledesign.com, the link's down to the website in his description down below. That's his website right there. Um, every Saturday morning, he's changed it to 9 a.m. Pacific. Every Saturday morning, he puts out all his new um, product. So if you're looking for, he's got, you know, anodized hardware now. He's got all that stuff. What's up, Mr. McKenzie? Welcome. He's got all that stuff in there, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you're you know, looking for the backspacers, if you're looking for scales, any of that stuff. And he's got a couple Spider Co. options. Yeah, it's right up there. Big Red EC just posted the link up there. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you doing that. 
Uh, I don't have them posted. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to bring my other computer in here. So I appreciate your help, Big Red. You're probably delaying your trip just to help me out. So thank you. <laughs> oh, an anthem with a spidey hole. Yeah, I've seen some people do that. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, the mini critter scales. I, I think I need to get some of those. You know, I've, I'm doing some, some other mini builds right now. So you guys have probably seen those. You know, I got the, the one backspacer for the full size. And then a black geared one for the mini. So I'm doing that with those Rogue Blade Work scales. I will say this also real quick. Uh, you guys know this, but if you want to buy a knife... Go over to southernedgeknifeworks.com. Use the code ZAC15. You're going to end up with 15% off and flat rate shipping. So that's pretty cool to do that right there because they give back so much. And um, I will say the giveaway today is going to be something that they donated. So pretty cool that they do that stuff. They send stuff out to the channel. Um, they give the, the discount directly to you guys and the flat rate shipping. You can't beat it. So anyways, Tango tool is pretty sweet. It's pretty sharp. Um, uh, been using it a whole bunch. I like it. Um, only thing I don't use it for is lifting caps. I don't do that. You know, I don't open any bottles with it. So I guess I need to try that out to be an official full review of it. Oh, yeah, so Big Red put Southern Edge Knife Works link right there. You know, he gets restocks all the time. Um, he just upped his uh, Benchmade dealership stuff, so he's got more Benchmade stuff going to be coming in, as well as, um, you know, he just got the banter restocked, which is pretty awesome. So, oh, okay, Jason, the graphite did help on that. Yeah, right on. So one thing I will share with you on the bug outs, and this is the problem they had, is right here, where this axis bar rides on the back. You can see where that wear is right there. Right? So if you end up cleaning your knife and you take it apart or you just clean it really thorough, you might take off some of that wear um, or some of the like kind of lubricant that's in there. And it's not traditional style like KPL or blue lube or anything like that. It's actually more of like a graphite. And so if you use like pencil lead and you get pencil lead and put it on the back there and also on your access bar, it's gonna get rid of that lock stick. So I, I noticed that right away. I've only had one that fully had to be replaced um, and that's because I wore it out. Um, but that's a separate issue. That was when I took salt water swimming and everything and it rusted up like the springs and other stuff, but they were nice enough to replace it. So I sent it in for life sharp warranty, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's see, Batman and Robin. I missed some sort of conversation on that, but that's cool, Jason. I'm glad it worked for you. You know, um, I know you can get spray, um, graphite as well. That sometimes works as well. So, so, uh, Deadpool Lee, welcome. Welcome. you got a question. What's up, Lorenzo? Welcome. Good to see you in here. Um, uh, Deadpool Lee asked that they're, you know, Benchmade's discontinuing a lot of models, including this Anthem. Um, one of the things that Benchmade does, they commonly once a year go through and they say, what SKUs are not selling well? The Anthem was doing decent. The Anthem was doing very decent. So, oh, what's up, Nefargo? Oh, Nefuego. Sorry. Yeah. We'll tell Michelle hello. Welcome to both you guys. Um, but I think there has to be something else planned with the Anthem because this one wouldn't come out and just go away. What's up, JV? JV's in the house. Um, so I would guess that they're doing another model of something of this. And that's why this one's on the discontinued list. So if you also had an opportunity to buy one of these and pick one up before they're sold out, I would say snag one. They're pretty cool. Um, I love it. This one, the minute I got it, I, I started using it because it's fantastic. Um, yeah, you got the banter and pin blue. Yeah, that's a terrific knife. And... One of the other things is, um, I see your question, Penny, up. get right to it. Um, the So, like, somebody just talked about the Super Freak. Do I have my Super Freak in here? Where'd my Super Freak go? So, I'm sad because I saw the Super Freak on the discontinued list. However, it's not the regular Super Freak, Plain Edge. 
It's the Super Freak with the serrations. So the regular Super Freak will stick around, but the serration version is discontinued. And I know there's a lot of confusion when people read the discontinuation list. Some of the dealers, um, I think even the bigger boys, um, they put some of them up as, oh, what's up, Kai Kai? They put them up as like, you know, like the, 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 the one that was funny was I saw, where is it? It's right here, I think. And it was like, oh my gosh, what happened? But it was the Mini Presidio 2 CF Elite. They put this one on the on the discontinued list and were selling it out. They sold it out at discounted price. And I was so bummed because I was like, man, I wanted to get one of those at that price. These are not discontinued. The CF Elite just came out this year. Um, this one's stained. The one with the aluminum scales is the one that was uh, discontinued. So CF Elite or the Mini Presidio 2 with aluminum, they were out. So... Yeah, Luke, what's up? What's going down? Yeah, Birdshot representing. I ordered some stickers on their Etsy shop. The link is in the description below. So if, you just, if you're just if you watching this video, you see the live chat, you see the video. At the bottom right corner, there's a little down arrow in the video. It should be right down here. Let me point to it with a knife. It should be right down here below this video screen. Like right there. Um, but if you see it down there, you can expand that. What's up, Slicey? And you can see uh, the Etsy shop and all the stuff that we're going to unbox today and talk about. So the Super Freak and Serrations, that one is discontinued. But the other ones have not been. So pretty cool overall. So you will see a video coming up. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the, of the discontinuation list. And kind of go over some of the things that uh, I've seen on there. And we'll talk about that. But yeah, they do have a concept uh, for sale in their Etsy shop right now. So... I know, Hollywood Tactical, what's happening? Yeah, we're doing it early on Sundays a little bit. Now, this one, I was excited to get this package sent over um, because, you know, I, I was very, very blessed to have um, Stafford ZDC send me out some aim front scales to check out. And I was like, these are awesome. They're fantastic. How do I get some? Um, and all, like, literally... Don't need that extra hair that came with the packaging. We'll get that off the table. Um, but literally, like within a probably two weeks of me posting that video, he put some more some more product out. So I had to order some, and I really like the swoosh scales. So these are the swoosh pattern. These are aluminum. So I ordered them in black and dark green. So I think that's pretty sweet right there. So let's look at the dark green ones. Now these dark green ones are gonna pretty much match a standard 940 Osborne. What's up, Mikey? Nice, very nice. So I think these are gonna look really good. Um, let me see, do I have a bug out real quick hand, handy here? I think they're gonna look really good on like, well, that's the wrong one to use. Let me use the right side or the other side. Because if I use the other side, I can show you putting them right over top of these. Pretty much what that's gonna look like on a black blade with black hardware. I kinda like the look of that. And then of course you have the all blacked out version. Let's look at that. That's gonna be a sweet looking one too. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. I think they only run about 55 bucks for a set of these aim fronts. Uh, they're really nice. They have a really nice finish to them. But yeah, Stafford ZDC let me check out his, um, his aim front scales and they were superb. And so the minute I saw, I signed up because you can go to the website and sign up for notifications. I think he's going to do some that are not coated. Um, these are coated and have a super, super awesome coating. So they're not gonna, not gonna chip very easily, stuff like that. Um, let's see here. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, go the Christmas edition. That'd be fun. We've got slicey dicey in the house. Hopefully your, what's up, Dom? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully your body has recovered internally and mentally from being in your truck for 24 hours. That's so cool. I sent you over some money to pay for your your breakfast. 
and your lunch. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get you going. Be cool to see your website. So yeah, so the discount code for Southern Edge Knife Works, Zach15. It's right here. You can just pop that in on your purchase and it'll take 15% off your order and give you flat rate shipping in the US of $5. So pretty cool overall that they do that. Um, let's see here. Uh, Penny had a question about my favorite Dutch Bros. So today I'm drinking some Dutch Bros. And this stuff is, let's see what it is. It's a tea, but it's made by Harney and Sons. And it's their cinnamon spice black tea. This is pretty cool. Yeah, Dawn C, they do ship outside the U.S. I think if you use that code, your flat rate shipping is going to be about $15.99. So about $16.00 flat rate international shipping. So, and if you have questions about it at all, just send them an email. They're really great about getting back in touch with you. So, and if there's something that they don't have, um, just let them know and they'll order it for you. Get it sent out to you. Yeah, the tea is fantastic. It's a black tea. It's got some good spices. I drink that um, instead of coffee um, over the last couple of years. So, and they have a really good, uh, since we're talking about Dutch Bros tea, uh, they have a really good, uh, fruit infused black or green tea uh, no added sugar nothing like that so it's it's pretty good for you pretty pretty super so yeah let's see here um we will go to silva what's happening what side are you looking for for the tea yeah you're welcome the tea uh if you if you're not around at dutch bros you can go to Harney and Sons, Harney and Sons, and they sell that tea. So that's good. Uh, oh, what state? I'm in Oregon. I'm in Portland, Oregon. And this one, let's see, which one is this? Oh, yeah, I need to be careful cutting this one open. So this is going to be some more paperwork. We're going to have, oh, yeah, we got our patch. From Mighty Hanks, that one's that's a big patch. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, got my Halloween themed Hank going on. Oh, Glock by my side. Thanks so much, buddy. That's pretty awesome. Next tease on me. Thank you. That's really, really, really kind of you. I appreciate that. So yeah, Mighty Hanks, they've been doing pretty good. One thing I really like about Mighty Hanks is they have like super my microfiber. Let's get that out of here. Super microfiber, a little sticker from them on the inside of their Hank. So that's a pretty cool looking Hank right there. A little Halloween theme. Microfiber washing instructions, hand wash or delicate cycle air dry. So that's what's really cool. It's literally, it's called Magic Fiber. It's a copyrighted brand of material, but it, you can, you know, you can go ahead and use it for your knives, whatever, but it works really well for glasses, those kind of things. I wear glasses uh, some of the time, so I I really dig having that microfiber. So for me, it works really well. I use it, and of course, I had to say, hey, got to get the Mighty Hanks patch and put it up on the, the patch wall, so right on, digging that. And I don't, does that one glow in the dark? Let me look. I don't know if that one glows in the dark. I doubt it, but it might. Oh, snap. It's got the glow-in-the-dark stitching. And also the skeleton glows in the dark. Oh, and she glows in the dark, too. Oh, man, I'm going to have to do a post on that. That looks pretty cool. Best place to get discontinued Benchmades? I would just start checking your uh, favorite knife retailers. Oh, is it the Nightmare Before Christmas one? Nice. And that's one of those that it's like, yeah. And the Mighty Hanks, their their website's located down below. Oh, Talbert, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Hey, you. I appreciate it. And I did get your video and your email, and I will be responding to that today. I literally, today, I have to work again tonight. So I, I'm working like 16 days straight. And so I'm right in the middle of it right now, so... I apologize. It's hard to get to emails when I'm at work. Yeah, that Seahawks Hank is pretty cool. Mild Manner DDC, Big Red EDC hooked me up with that. So that's pretty awesome. 
Uh, this is one of them. The other ones, it's actually drying on my kitchen table right now. But this is the second one that they got me. And it's pretty cool. So, and there's somebody, somebody else said they're sending me another Seahawks one, which is pretty awesome. So, I'll show that off when it gets here. Digging that. Okay, so let's do another unboxing, a little unpackaging here. This is from a company that I've, I think I need to like turn my credit card off because I've spent like way too much money with them. But I just can't help it. Their stuff's pretty awesome. Let's see here. Nothing else. Let's see you get it out of the pack of the plastic here. Need to do oh yeah, I forgot about that one too. Oh nice. So this is like a, a medium sized pouch from Garage Build Gear. Um super huge industrial zipper. But just a big pouch that you can put all sorts of stuff in. Got the, you know, the black multicam. The pouches on the side. You can hook it to other things. Just a flat back. So that's pretty, pretty rad. Digging that. You'll see a review coming up on that stuff. What's up, Benny Blade Play? And this one, he's got a new like pocket organizer he just decided to make. And this one's in the black multicam too. But it's got just this big open pouch here. And then a couple smaller ones. So you can take like... Where's my pen? So you can take like your pen. You can throw it in there. You can take your knife and put it in there. Or a flashlight. You can put some other stuff inside there. In the back, like your uh, log and jotters. And then it's got a spot in the back that you can also put other things in, log and jotter, those kind of things. So kind of like a pocket tool organizer. You can throw this in a pocket, or if you want to put some other things in there, you can throw it inside your bag, those kind of things. <laughs> Hollywood. Yeah, that's, that's the point when it comes down to like working two jobs and being salary at one of them. You know, um, you just got to be available all the time. And then, you know, if you, if you sign up for a second job like me, then those rules kind of don't apply. But I do it so I can support the knife channel. So, so these pocket organizers are kind of cool. I dig it. Um, this material is kind of like a, a rubberized feel. So it's not going to scratch things up. It's going to keep things in place. Same with the material right here. It's kind of a rubberized. It's hard to explain it, but... That's pretty cool right there. Mikey, what are some other teas from Hernie and Sons that you like? I've only tried a few of theirs, you know? Um, they have a really good, gosh, I'll have to go look on their website, but. Hey, what's up, Mike? Mike's in the house. Mike Vermachi. Appreciate you, man. Happy Sunday. Blessed by the best, man. Be well. Definitely be well. What's up, Louie Louie? How's it going? Yeah, Mikey, they are a decent tea. They're a very good tea. So I ended up ordering um, the individual packages of the cinnamon spice so I could take some to work with me. So that way, you know, I missed out or I needed to pick me up later on. I could do that kind of later in the day. So it worked out pretty well. Uh, so we're going to get to our last unpackaged that stuff here, and then we're going to try out our, our pivot tool, and then we'll get into a giveaway here in a little bit. And let's see here. All right, Big Red. Oh, man, I'm knocking stuff over trying to say bye to Big Red. Big Red, have an awesome trip. Please tell the family hello. Number one fans are over there. Yeah, it's good stuff, Nick. Oh, Benny, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, have safe travels. Have fun on that ferry. Go Hawks. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so here's the last one right here. Now, this one is being sent out through the pass around. And 
so other channels are going to have it. I did have an opportunity to get number one on one of the lists for this one. And it looks like I got the blue one. It's from Damn Designs, and it's called the Sidekick. And it's their pry. So this one looks pretty darn sweet. Oh, man. Remove before pry. That's sweet. It's got their logo on it. These are kind of like those flight tags they have for some of the fighter jets and stuff. Remove before flight. So that's kind of sweet. I like that. So let me get this open here. Behind the camera. Makes it a little bit easier. Small, tiny Ziploc bags. I don't want to damage it if I don't have to. Because it's going to other people. All right. Now, this one, it says blue because it's got a level in it. So, you, this one actually has a level. So, you can check out and see. My table is pretty level, a little bit off to the left. But it's got a level in it. It's got a magnetic drive bit holder right here. So you put your bit in here. And it's, and it's going to be magnetic. It's going to hold in there. So that's pretty cool right there. I think it'll hold in this end too. Yeah, so, and that's the other cool part. So let me grab my uh, little flashlight here. Shout out to o o Light. But you got some glow in the dark stuff going on in here. So that's pretty awesome. It's hard to show on here. I'll get it going on my review. But yeah, so pretty cool. Glows in the dark. You can toss it on your keys through this bit holder right here. You can put your keys through there. Got yourself a little pry bar. It's made of titanium. It's got measurements on it. It's got your inches and your centimeters. It's got the logo. It's solid, you guys. It's pretty nice. Let's just see how much it uh, weighs real quick. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, I'm not level. I got stuff. There we go. 1.6 ounces. So pretty light for solid titanium. Well, mostly solid titanium, as you can see. Man, I need to resecure my tripod. I got it bumping off the table here. Getting all excited with it. But anyways, so that's new. That's coming out. Um, 75 is going to be the retail price. But you can sign up uh, pre-order at their website. It's linked down below. And get signed up for the $55 price for them. So at $55, you can't go wrong with this at all. This is pretty awesome. So you'll see a review coming up on this one as well. That'll post up. Um, shout out to Damn Designs for sending that one to the Pass Around group. I signed up for some of their other products that are coming out already myself. So that's pretty cool. Oh, nice, David. Nice. So, yeah, it's a pretty sweet little pry bar. I love all the products that he's coming out with. Adrian's such a nice guy. And just takes such awesome feedback from the community. So... Yeah, so anyway, so let's move a couple of these things. Let's get a little bit of a, let's put this away for safety. Yeah, the Oni's pretty sweet. <laughs> the Oni's really awesome. Let's put some of this stuff away for safety. Safety first, you guys. And I'm wondering, I'm not going to take apart the automatic or the assisted, but let's do, let's see here. Let's maybe take apart this mini bug out. Um, because I want to see. Do I have those scales nearby? I think I do. Hold on. We might as well build something, right? I probably tossed them. Hold on here. Let's see. Well, that's no fun. All right, well, we'll just take it apart with these then. 
Oh no. Oh dang, Luke. Be careful with that. That's sharp. Yeah, this orange and black is a is one that I built. Very nice, nice. Somebody sent me the orange scales so I could swap out the white ones I had on my uh, bug out. The mini. Here's the standard mini bug out. You've seen some of the pink and purple ones I've made with writ dye. Yeah, hopefully you don't have to get stitches. That's going to hurt bad. So let's check one more place if we have those scales over here. I see a rogue bag and ro a bag from rogue means there are scales nearby very very close by so what's everybody carrying today you guys have seen what I'm carrying what do you guys have what do you guys have in the pocket dang recon Waypoint, 940, nice penny. Guardian Tackle, sweet. Super glue does work well. Oh, dang. Mediator, pair three, red, G10, nice. Cold Steel, Airlight, okay. Leatherman Wave, ooh, Custom Shop. I saw those are nice. TRM Adam, hey, Executive Milk, welcome. Booker Plus, nice. Buck Marksman, very nice, Russ. Boker Plus, Gent 67, Laird, oh, Laird Damas Damascus, nice. Camo PM2. Yes, definitely. Do something nice for someone this week, Nick. Samurai Sword? <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, Shot Show Fact is nice. Awesome. Laconico Keen. Anode, nice. Blade HQ bug out and a bailout. Nice. I'm so jonesing for that. Going gear 940. Nice. Nate of five. Walk by my side. Mine's in the mail, man. Mailman. Uh, Rex 45. Sweet. Quiet carry waypoint. Byron EDC. Red smock. Oh, cool, man. You got one of the red smocks. Little native. Custom mini Crooked River. Nice. Native five salt. Cool. Bare knuckle. Got the, yeah, and the bailout on there. Nice. Mikey says, between the mini, Crooked River, Blade HQ, Bug Out, and CGRB, Rhea, Leatherman Wave is also floating around. Nice. That's a good selection. Spider Coast Chaparral, Sun and Moon. Very cool, Aaron. Isonzo? I haven't heard of that one. Dragonfly H1, Spider Coast Rex 45, Little Native, Benchmade, Presidio. Nice. That's a good knife, Lorenzo. <laughs> That's a solid knife, too. I think it has the CF Elite scales on it, dude. That's a nice one. Uh, the Knockout M390. Very cool monster. Kai Kai. Oh, that was nice. They brought you Subway. Heck yeah, that's really nice. Mass Drop Perpetua. The Neutron 2. Oh, man. Executive Milk. I, I hope I get a Neutron 2. Um, I don't have a Neutron in the first place, but a Neutron 2 would be really cool. But we'll see. We'll see. You know, if, if the, the stars align and the drop happens. But I think there's a lot of people that are going to be on that drop. So I'm not holding my breath too much because I don't want to be super sad about it. I don't have a Neutron 2. I'm hoping for one. And if somebody already has one, then they obviously have the inside connection. Got the inside hookup. All right. Well, I found one set of scales. But it's not the right ones. So let's just tear this one apart and see how this tool works. Because I've been told this is the way to go. And David... I'll tell you what, his Etsy shop, I mean, this tool is supposed to be the cat's meow, so. Got that little pry bar or a little uh, poker right there. Smaller one on this end. So you can use this as like a pick. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, no, Executive Milk had the TRM Adam, I think, and was waiting to get that one. I don't know. No, Luke, I've never heard of that. All right, so let's do some, man, Journey Tool Company. I'll tell you what, it's got some new spinny ones coming out. Brewer 95, what's happening, what's happening? All right, so we're going to try to do this without causing too much trouble. But let's tear this one apart using a T6, a Torx bit, size 6, to take off these body screws on the mini bug out here. And then we'll use a T10 on the pivot. But I want to do a quick tear down of this. Should only take a minute or two. And with that new, new tool, it should just pop right out, pop right back together. And I'm going to try it a couple different ways. I'm going to mess it up a little bit. So because the way it kind of is shaped and kind of how it goes through different sizes and the bevel and all that through here, it's supposed to basically kind of line things up as it goes in. And this flat side right here, because the pivot's D-shaped and everything, it's supposed to just be bang, total perfect. So yeah, so good. Brewers in the house. Man, that sounds like a place to spend a lot of money there, Luke. I'll have to be careful of that one. Yeah, definitely. All right, so let's get this one off. This is the, you know, it's got the same size mini deep carry clip as the other bug outs. The pivots are all the same size. And one question I get a lot is the um, back spacers. The barrel spacers on the mini, are they the same size as the full size? And the answer is yes. Good to take your super, see you then later. All right, sounds good, Decor. Take care, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate you, man, definitely. Have fun, have a good rest of your day. Uncle Cow's in the house, what up, Uncle Cow? We'll take all these T6s out. They are all now out. We will change the bit over to our T10. I'm using Weehaw bits, some of the best ones to use. They don't strip out, strip out as much as the other ones and have pretty good quality. So we'll take out this pivot and we will fully take this apart now. Now normally you could just basically take your hardware off, swap sides, go to the other side, those kind of things. But we're gonna take this totally apart. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna push, actually let's use the tool. And let's push the pivot out. Oh, it doesn't push it out on that side. Let's use this side. Look at that, pushes the pivot right out. And then we're gonna do it where We totally take this apart, so that's good. Yeah, I use the short stubby driver until I get a fancy pants one or something, then I'll put it on here because, you know, this looks great on here, but, you know, it's like red plastic and stuff. So, so yeah, so basically there's your, your mini bug out blade. Still has some lubrication on it. We might put a little bit more on it. looks like it's getting a little bit dry. But you have your washers on here, one on each side. So your washers are out of alignment. Let's use a little bit of our friend here, KPL. We'll put a, just a one little drop on the dry side over here. Same over here. There we go. Let that settle a little bit. Okay. So now putting it back together you basically just put this in here. You can see how the washers are all out of alignment. Now you're supposed to be able to use this tool, fish them in there, kind of get them a little bit together. Now if this works properly, you can see the flat side of the, hopefully you can see that, the flat side of this is actually up here closest to the axis. So you should be able to put this in here. And line all that up. 
And then if you take tension off the springs, which we'll do when we get the, the scales on there, but you can see how that lines it up pretty darn perfect. So I'm pretty excited to see this. Now this is a lot further torn down than normal, but if you're gonna do a full cleaning, then that's what I would do. And this could also be a placeholder for you. So you can put this placeholder in play. And you can see if you take that tension off, it goes all the way through and now it holds it in place. So now you can work on this whole side of the knife and put things back together. I like to just at least put the two that are in here for the top and middle part of your liners and just finger tight. It's the only negative about doing it on a, a harder surface. Screws flying everywhere. Oh, uh, it's not bad once you practice it a whole bunch, but this tool makes it really easy. So I really appreciate Dave sending this out. And seriously, honestly, if you guys ever have the ability or want to take it apart or do take your Benchmade knives apart that have access locks, buy one of these tools because since I got it, I'm like, it's fabulous. So, so we'll go ahead and take the tension off this one. I'm going to put it in from the other side now. So this flat side is actually going to go in this way. And even if you forget, you can just twist it a little bit and it'll go right to the location. And so now you can rebuild the top side of your knife just by putting this on. Push it right over top. Make sure your backspaces are set in their holes. And then you can just build this back together. So literally you don't have to worry about holding the springs back. None of that until you're ready to put your pivot in. So we'll put this back together really quick. Then we'll pop the pivot back in. And then we'll uh, take some questions and we'll do a little giveaway. Yeah, so it's it. I I love this tool. It's it's a game changer for me. I think you felt sorry for me seeing all the ones I did and trying to use like a T15 or the T10 and, and trying to get things like lined up. And so I think he's like, "Hey, buddy, Zach, let me take care of you." You know, <laughs> and I'm like, "That is super nice, man." So I'm actually gonna order a couple more as giveaway and as a gift. So because I know somebody that'll love it. So. I'll be ordering that this weekend. What's up, Lavender Pants? I heard there may or may not be a little surprise to help with tearing apart your bug outs in the BQ bug out orders. A surprise? Well, you'll have to elaborate more on that. I don't know what you're talking about there. I mean, maybe they put in like a little like headshot or something. Maybe they say thank you or something. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool to see. Yeah, there you go, Mikey. Yeah, you have three of them. Yeah, and, and that's the thing is it's super helpful. I mean, honestly, right now the knife is together, you know, and it's going to even rotate with that being in there. It's not the best thing to do, but so anyway, so your pivot's going to go the flat side of your pivot. It has your flat piece right there. And it's going to go up towards the facing part. So you pull your axis back, take the tension off by pulling this out. And everything's perfectly aligned. I'm getting all oily and greasy, but we got a rag nearby. We'll get that fixed. So flat part of your pivot goes in there. I'm probably doing it wrong because I haven't watched this video on the how to's, but you're probably supposed to use it this way or something, put it in a different way. But anyways, it's super helpful get it all back together. I bet I tweaked the liners a little bit. Let's see here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the blade was out of place. That's why. Oh, you did the flytanium ones as well. Nice. There we go. So now it goes back in most of the way. 
And then you can use your last piece right here just to move those last few things out of the way and get them lined up. And it goes all the way in. Drop it into the spike. Let me see what you said there. Uh, you could probably use the tool and drop the pivot onto the spike and then push it through. Yeah, that works too. That definitely works. Yeah, that'll be one of those things that, you know, like I said, I didn't have a chance to watch the video after opening it up this morning. So I'll get that going and we'll get it back together. And so I'll put this back on here in a second. But let's move this stuff out of the way because I want to get to a giveaway too. Put this in there. All right, Talbert, take care, buddy. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a good rest of your day. Look forward to chatting with you on email later today. Have a fun little little video to post for the Zach's Day of the Carry Crew as well this afternoon. And I was thinking about doing, I don't know what the best time of day or night for it is, but I was thinking about doing a, uh, a members only kind of chat as well. So I don't know if you guys are up for that or not, but I think that would be kind of fun. It's a feature that you can do through memberships. So I was like, oh yeah, I gotta do that. That sounds awesome. So, all right, now, what can we do for giveaway stuff? Well, I have to say that the coolest part of having a relationship with Southern Edge Knife Works, besides you guys getting this sweet, sweet, and I can use it too, um, that sweet, awesome discount code, is they send some knives out to me for review. And one of the things that I was like, oh, okay, well, that's pretty cool. And he was like, you know what? You can do whatever you want with this one. And I'm like, really? <laughs> but you guys know me. I love to give back to you guys. Um, you know, Big Red's the same. Uh, we have some surprises coming up too. I can't mention those. But we're going to play a little giveaway today. We'll do a little giveaway. Uh, we're going to get our fancy pants, Slicey would say, our fancy pants pen, the Damas Steel pen from Benchmade, which is super heavy. But what are we going to give away? How about a knife that, I know, right? A knife that Southern Edge Knife Works was super kind enough, and I want to keep this one. I really do. But I'm going to have to buy a different one from them. Oh, yeah, Lavender Pants. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Yeah. And so, but one of the things that we're doing is the giveaway that Southern Edge Knife Works was so awesome to donate to the channel. The Sun and Moon Chaparral. So yeah, so we're going to give this away today and you'll get a swag pack of Zach stuff stickers as well and a Southern Edge Knife Works stick stickers, but this is for you guys. So this is going to be a pretty sweet giveaway just for the live. So yeah, it's good stuff, huh? What's up, Joe? I don't know if I saw you earlier. What's up, Joe? But yeah, so this is going to be pretty cool. Um, so let's do, we're going to do number style. So don't guess yet. What's up, Jordan? But we're going to guess there's about 80 people watching right now. So let's guess a number between, so it's going to be one number between 301 and 700. And what we'll do is we'll do, you know, closest without going over. Hey, Aaron, if you, you know what, if you want to guess, you can definitely guess. 
and uh, we'll, we can figure something else out for you, you know? Um, we can dig into the prize drawer and see if there's something else, but this is a pretty sweet one. So don't guess yet. Uh, I'm going to pick the number, and then I'm going to put it underneath the little bug out there so you guys know which one it is. And we will figure out what is going to be the number of the day for this. So it's one number between 301 and 700. Yeah, no worries. I'm just not going to count your guesses until I put the start on the screen. So, and you're only going to get one guess. So we don't want to, we don't want to burn it before, uh, before I hit the start. So let's see here. Let me get that picked up. And then we will do the official give and go. Now, I will say this, is that, yeah, no problem, you guys. Just wait till I put the start on the screen. But I will say, if somebody guesses it right on, if there's more than one, or if there's two people that are the closest, and it's closest without going over, so this is the number. I'm going to slide it underneath that bug out. Um, and then once you see the start on the screen from Zach's stuff, you can go ahead and do your one guess, one guess only, one number between 301 and 700. And if there's more than one person that's either right on the money or the closest, then we will do a second round. And I'm going to have to go through because there's a lot of people, for whatever reason... It holds like a lot of messages for review, so I'm glad I'm doing it this way so I can click show and it's not a first come first serve basis. So, cause that would be bummer if it holds your message and then all of a sudden it's like, oh bam, somebody else guessed it first. So that's why I kind of do it this way. It keeps it more fair for everybody. Um, since the, the magic computers of the online internet or that way yeah it's a nice knife and honestly i mean i didn't like i said I mean, you guys probably saw my review of it but i can get a full grip on it large hand it's very very thin it's thinner than a 940 and i kind of dig the the back lock now this one's not broken in because like i said it's brand new and a huge shout out to southern edge knife works you know so I want to pass that along directly to you guys and make sure you guys got it. So yeah, so we'll wait another minute or two um, and then we will go back and check. Yeah, lavender pants. We're guessing one number, one number only guess and it's one number between 301 and 700. You get one guess and then it's closest without going over. Yeah, Mr. McKenzie, yeah, I'm happy to give back to you guys. And that's one of the things I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, if there's benefits coming my way that I pass that through directly to you guys. So that's pretty cool. You know, make sure to support Southern Edge Knife Works. You know, use that discount code. Even international shipping, you get flat rate shipping off of it and you're 15% off. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, the colorway is beautiful. You know, you got that mother of pearl inlay right here. And on this side, you have the white and red G10. It's just super. <laughs> it's super. And now that I've now that I've held a chaparral, I'm like, okay, I gotta get one. <laughs> so put that one on my list as well, right? The list continues. Oh, thanks, monster. I appreciate it. Drink some tea here, and then we'll give it another thirty seconds, and then I'll put a stop up there, and then we'll uh, we'll go. Yeah, new spin era. You are welcome. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thanks, Rodney. Yeah, good luck to everyone. And we will throw some stop signs up here. As I think we are going to be at the moment of... Marson Grail got his in. I think we're good. Everybody's guessed. We're gonna go ahead and put the stop up there. So the stop signs are up. 
I think Jesse B just got yours in at the same time, so and Susan. People people got going, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and anybody guessing after that, we're not gonna be able to accept them, so apologies for that, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Let's see what we have here. Safety first. We don't want to spin that knife right into my hand. That would not be fun. It would make the other video fun today, huh? Okay, <laughs> Jesse. So the number was 524. So now my job is to scroll back and see who we get at 524 or who the closest would be. So give me a minute here because there was a lot of guesses. And they were going fast. I have Monster Racing at 515. Mr. McKenzie was close, but was a few over. I have 519 with David H. Let me see what else we have here. Okay, so I'm seeing David H with 519 what else are you guys seeing yeah it's closest without going over let's see here I don't see anybody that guessed it right on Christine says uh, Brewer 95. Well, let me go back and look for Brewer 95. I don't know what Brewer 95 guessed. Please accept the pause. You're welcome, Acetone. Oh yeah, okay, at 425, yeah. Yeah, it was worth hanging up from the phone call, so. Yeah, Lavender Pants, you were a little bit over. Yeah, so. Monster had 515, but David H had 519, so that's five away. I don't see anybody else closer. So, I'm gonna double check the list one more time, just to make sure I'm not missing it with my eyeballs. <laughs> Glock by my side. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it's closest without going over. So anything that was over, it was closer, but it was over. So if you go over, it doesn't count. So Okay, well, David H., hit me up. Send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. We're going to go ahead and put your name on this one. Uh, thanks again to Southern Edge Knife Works. Thank you guys so much. Um, do you guys have any questions going on for the week? You guys have any big plans? You will see a little bit of a discontinuation video of Benchmades coming up, so I'll be putting that together. And uh, yeah, and I'll be doing a mail run tonight. I got a couple knives going out. The final, uh, the second to the final one going out for last week's giveaway. And then also, if you go over to Big Boar, Knife and Gear, he sounds like he just posted it up. Um, he had it on his Instagram earlier. Thanks, Jason. And one of the things was he's doing an awesome, awesome, sweet, awesome, awesome, sweet, kind of a raffle style giveaway to support our brethren, Peter at a therapeutic edge. And I know so many of you guys helped out on the one that I did, which was awesome. Um, but he's got a really cool one going as well. He collected a lot of things from a lot of people. Um, you know, just the community came out again and said, how do we help? Um, and we want to continue to help Peter. So, uh, there'll be a GoFundMe link as well. There's information, uh, in that video telling you how to sign up, you know, how to donate, how to get entered, and that's pretty cool. 
So thanks, Christine. Thanks, Lorenzo. Thanks, Mr. McKenzie. Yeah, I'm working on a collection video. I'm probably going to break it up into different ones. So David H., congratulations, buddy. That's so awesome. That was an awesome giveaway. Donkey Dave, you are right. Um, David and Lindsay, have a great week. But definitely go check out Big Boar Knife and Gear. Um, if he's in the house, Peter, just more people helping out. People helping people. So it's so awesome that people are continuing on um, and running another, you know, raffle style giveaway. So that's pretty cool. Right on, Christine. Okay, cool. Yeah, Peter, we love you, brother. Um, we just want to help you out and it shows, you know. So yeah, hit the like button, hit subscribe. You know, if you want to be part of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew, there's a join link in there as well. Um, your guys' support is awesome. You know, I couldn't do this without you guys. Like I said, I got some patches coming up for those that are, that are members, and that'll be going out to members the minute they come in. I'm sending out, I got all the envelopes ready with stickers and everything else. And they're going out to you guys. So, yeah, you guys have an awesome weekend. Again, check out Big Boar Knife and Gear. And thank you guys so, so much for all your support. Have an awesome rest of your week. Do something kind for someone. And take care of you guys.